Engineering News recently sat down with McDonald's South Africa CEO Greg Solomon at the fast food chain Silver Lakes restaurant, where the company showcased its use of the light steel frame building methodology. Where is McDonald's South Africa in terms of its light steel frame rollout? Well, we've just started this process, so really just five or six restaurants are on light steel frame at this point in time. But it's a significant strategic imperative for our, uh, for our construction rollout. And I, I really think that 25 to 30 percent of our portfolio going forward will have this construction methodology. However, McDonald's is not, it's not only about light steel frame. I don't want to be disrespectful. We are very, very pleased with this construction medium but we continue to look at innovation. We continue to look at new methodologies. And if some other better or more efficient methodologies comes our way, McDonald's will be looking at that, we will be adopting that, and we'll be bringing that into our portfolio. How does the company go about selecting building methodologies? Well, really it comes down to what we're trying to accomplish. I call it our green and growing project. 20% cost saving. 20% uh, more efficiency from an from a, from a, uh, ergonomic standpoint, from an economic standpoint and from a sufficiency uh, standpoint and 20% more saving in time. And if we can find uh, some form of other construction methodologies, maybe a hollow block floor slab with an insulation that can give us the same form of protection when it comes to temperature uh, variety and variances, then we'll deploy that as well. Can you tell us more about the restaurant we are sitting in? So this is number two light steel frame for the country. Uh, the first one was in Cape Town. Uh, it's number one light steel frame for the Gauteng market. Uh, the restaurant's 18 months old. Uh, we're sitting in Pretoria, Tswane in Silver Lakes. Uh, double story, just under 300 square meters uh, of, uh, of ground space. And we're very excited. The performance has been fantastic. When was it built and were there any challenges? Yeah, so the typical construction cost for a building of this size, double story, is just under 5 million rand. Um, there weren't any problems and challenges with this building. Uh, we've uh, pretty much uh, got it with our construction partners down to the tap. Uh, obviously we've got our normal utility connection issues, but from an actual construction perspective, um, it went well. But there is a secret though. The secret is with a light steel frame building, if you don't get the planning right, you actually lose the efficiency of what this building actually needs to deliver. So good planning, getting all your wall structures, getting your superstructure planned well. By the time you, uh, by the time you get to site, and you've put your foundations on. Uh, I believe this restaurant was just over four weeks before we got the roof on. And this allowed us to do the wet works and the dry works uh, simultaneously. And that's why we saved some time on the construction period. 